Hello, thanks for joining me for another Celebration Sunday. It's Kate from Inkstampshare.ink. I've got the country floral embossing filled to show you today. It's new, second release with Celebration. So it's one of the free items from Stampin' Up! if you have a £45 order. So spend £45 in my online shop and you can choose this for free. It's absolutely stunning. Look at the detail in it and it's really deep. It's one of those thick impressions embossing folders. So when you pop it through your big shot, you'll need one of your acrylic plates when you put that through. I'm gonna show you an alternative use for your embossing folder using this today. I think it's quite neat. Anyway, okay, so I have already put a piece of balmy through, balmy blue cardstock through with this and this is the result. That's stunning, isn't it? You just whiz it through and you get this gorgeous deep impression. That on a card base on its own would look really gorgeous, wouldn't it? You wouldn't have to do too much with that. It's really pretty. Let me see what colour, what, what size did I cut it? Oh yeah, I might need to cut it slightly smaller for my, to fit on my card. Yeah, I'll just need to trim that down. Let me do that before I do any more. Grab my trimmer. I needed my blue panel just slightly smaller because I'm going to layer it up. So I want it at 9.5 centimeters. Like that. You can cut it once you've embossed, it's fine. By 13.8 centimeters. So it's just half a centimeter off. There we go. So I've got, got it the size that I need it to be. I'll pop that one out of the way. This is the fun part. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it next. Such a simple, quick, easy way to make a really beautiful card. These embossing folders. Right, I'm going to take my Whisper White Crafting and a sponge dauber. And I'm going to highlight the relief in the embossing folder. And I just thought this was a really cool thing to do because it gives such a fun effect. I knew what the effect I was going for. I was going for... Um, Something a bit like, you know, the Wedgwood pottery that you used to be able to get with a really pretty white relief on it on the pale blue background. And I think it works really well. So just a finger dauber and a little bit of the white crafting. And you can put on as much or as little as you like to pick out the relief. And it just looks so gorgeous. I really like this idea. Now I did um, actually rub, rub my white crafting on the inside of my embossing folder and put that through the big shot with the cardstock, tried it that way and it just didn't give me the result that I wanted. And I tried it with a few different colours and a few different inks and it just wasn't what I was after. This I found was the best, just to use my sponge dauber, but you can do anything. I mean, I tried with the brayer as well, just wasn't quite getting what I wanted. But yeah, look, that is so cool, isn't it? I love that. I'm not going to do very much more to it. It just picks it out. It gives that like sort of wedge wedgewood pottery effect. Let's shut that ink before I stick my arm in it. Right, okay, it should be the right size now to go on my white layer. So I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock and that's my white layer half a centimetre bigger all the way around and I'm using my Tombow glue to stick the embossed layer on um, because it's getting in all the little crevices it sticks it on really well where you've embossed it it's really good stuff you don't need a huge amount I'm just going to pop that on on my white one just leave a little border evenly all the way around and pop that on press that one down I like this a lot. You know, when you do something, you think, yeah, that's fab, I love it a lot. <laughs> so now I've picked the same colour card base in balmy blue. It looks slightly different because it's not white, obviously. And I'm going to pop that on and it just makes it pop a little bit. Celebration is brilliant. We've had so many amazing items this celebration. Some of the items have, are starting to get low inventory though. Um, and they are only while stocks last and we've still got to the 31st of March while um, celebration is on. So if there is anything you've spied that you would like, don't wait to put your order in because I wouldn't want you to be disappointed that the thing you want might be run out. 
and you can find my shop over at inkstampshare.ink. There we go. And my blog full of lots of inspiration, hopefully. All right, there we go. And you'll also find the measurements, the dimensions for this card. So I've popped that on there. And then I'm just going to put my sentiment on the front. And I've just got a little scrap, a little rectangle of Whisper White cardstock. I've got my Memento Black Ink. And I've taken a thank you stamp. Now I just went through my stamp sets and decided what I liked. And this is the Eastern Beauty stamp set and it's got a lovely font. And I just picked the thank you out of this one. You could use whatever you've got. And I'm just going to stamp it on one side. Just turn it around that way, I think. Just going to stamp it on without getting my head in the shot. There we go. I might try that again. It's a bit far down. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. We don't really notice. Well, we do, don't we? Other people don't notice as much as us. Right, okay. Yeah, let's go for it. There we go, that's what I was after. So on the back of my thank you, I've just put a little bit of snail adhesive. And that's where my, I've got some ribbon that's going to go on the back of there, just a length of the narrow white ribbon. And I'm just gonna pop it on and loop it over. Just to give it something. Loop it back again. There we are, and then chop it off so it's not quite so long lined. Oh, crumbs. Should have got my ribbon scissors out. I'm stuck to everything. Okay, so that's going to go on there. Oh, my scissors are too far out of reach to go and grab them. Wrong scissors these. Right, okay. So we're there. I might just go and get them in a minute. And I'm going to put my thank you on the front of the card. So I just need some dimensionals to go on the back. Maybe just about three. It'll raise it up. Make it look nice. Packs off. And on it pops. I like that. That's nice. And I'm going to put a couple of, um, I'm just going to grab my scissors. I've got a pair and I keep a pair of ribbon because, you know, they get blunt with paper, don't they? Let's just trim that slightly. Such a difference. <laughs> let's pop those there and keep them within reach. Right, let's grab my pithy up tool. And then I'm just going to take a couple of these gems that I've got here. Let me move all this stuff so you can see what I'm doing. So, just a few rhinestones. I've already popped one there. Put one there. And then another one. I think we'll just pop it down there. And there it is. That's our card. I do have another piece of white card stock for my inside where I'm going to write my message, my thank you. And I might just stamp thank you again in there. What's your favourite glue? My favourite glue for gluing pieces together is the Tombow. Um, but I do like my snail for scrapbooking and for ribbon, for all sorts of things like that. Sometimes you just need to start your Tombow off. You don't need huge amounts. It's very economical. Right, there we are. Put that one in. Great. 
And I'm just going to do a thank you there too. There we go. So that's your pretty font. There. I hope you like the trick with the embossing folder and the white ink. Such a simple way to make your card look pretty. Isn't it stunning? Can't believe it's free. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm here every Sunday for a celebration Sunday, so do join me. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And click that little bell down below for future notifications of videos. And hop over to my blog for the measurements and more inspiration um, at Inkstampshare.ink. Thanks for stopping by.